no different than here or there. A recent Facebook post from members of the indigenous community voicing their frustration over the usage of status cards outside reservations. Although the rules may be clear, the reality is it may be more gray than thought. The one store I went to um, to buy electronics, they said that they had accepted status cards before and gave tax exemption. However, the company had received a letter stating that they were no longer allowed to do that. According to the Retail Council of Canada, status Indians may claim an exemption from paying the 5% goods and services tax, the GST, when the goods are delivered to the reserve by vendors or their agents, for example, a common carrier or the postal service. This rule applies Canada-wide. But the experience of people we spoke to going through the process of using or accepting the card varies from store to store. You know, I use my status card and they rejected it. Like, we can't use our status card in the city. Talk to my manager. And? Whatever they decide. Well, I think because this is all Treaty 7 area, Calgary's right on Treaty 7 land. Because a lot of places in the city accept our treaty card when we're buying, like to take GST off and that sort of thing. It even varies from province to province. You can go anywhere in the province of Ontario and get tax exemption at any store. And I said, why isn't that the same here in Alberta? What'd they say? Um, they said, I know because I work there. And he, and he said, I know that there's no questions asked in Ontario. And I said, I don't understand what the difference is. It's Canada. In Calgary, Phoenix Phillips, City News.